Shout out to thepacky.com. That's P A C K I E, thepacky.com, for posting the following article about your man, Jim Jones. They posted it September 20th of 2019. What is his name? Ryan Gloverio or something like that wrote the article. Anyway, anyway, shout out to Ryan. Title of the article was Rapper Jim Jones Listed as Federal Informant. Is your man Jim Jones a big snitch? A big blabbermouth blood snitch? Well, I'm going to say I think Jim Jones is a snitch. If you admit to being in a gang, Purple City Burgate, Jim Jones, Purple City Burgate, and your dumb behind is running around wearing red and purple bandanas, not knowing whether you want to be Santa Claus today or Barney, yeah, that's snitching. In my personal opinion, now I don't know whether or not this article is real, but I will tell you this though. If you're running around talking about your gang affiliations at all, anything like that, that's snitching on yourself and everybody around you. Anyway, rapper Jim Jones listed as federal informant is the title of the article. This is all alleged. Here's what Ryan wrote. Rapper Jim Jones is listed as a federal informant in court documents in the case against Takashi. In the original court transcripts that were previously released online, the conversations between individual one or Jim Jones is listed as cooperating with federal agents in a conversation with Jamil or Jamel or Mel Murder Jones. Jamel Jones, a.k.a. Mel Murder. Uh, he used to be a rapper, right? I think his name was Mel Matrix when he was a rapper. Anyway, which would explain why Jim Jones has been able to have such a lengthy criminal record and avoid prison time in the past. If you recall earlier this year, Jim Jones dodged jail time in a narcotics and case. That was in Atlanta, wasn't it? Allegedly. So anyway, Jones says... I guess he's talking about Takashi or Danielle Hernandez. Hernandez is trying to dry snitch at the same time, homie. But he keeps saying F Treyway, F that N word, Treyway. Ain't no N word, Treyway, F Treyway. Jordan laughs and says, I'm going to feed him though. Jones or Jim Jones says, Yo, what you doing? Damn. I don't even want to even talk on the phone, homie. We got to meet up and talk. Individual one says Hernandez is definitely humiliating Jordan right now. Then Jones says that's what Hernandez is trying to do. That's what he trying to do. He trying a little. He trying to separate himself. Individual individual one says that's cool. Now he got to get violated. Pause the story right there. Did they say that individual one is Jim Jones? If I'm not mistaken, Individual One and Jim Jones are two different people. So I, I don't know. Anyways, Individual One says that's cool. Now he got to get violated. Now, for the record, violated means like something violent has to happen to him as repercussions for whatever. And then Jones says, it, well, they I thought it was somebody else saying this, but they it claims Jones says, yeah, super violated, super duper. Actually, I think that was another person who said that. Uh, Ain't no much, ain't no much he could do, rather, ain't no much he could really do unless he running around with 100 armed securities all day. This person speaks like an idiot. Anyway, individual one says he ain't got enough money for that. And Jones says that's a fact. And he just canceled all his shows. I thought some, listen, I think that they, they're getting the people mixed up in this conversation. Jim Jones has a very distinctive voice, and I, and I think that they're getting the, the people mixed up in the transcript. But anyways, criminal informants are used to obtain information, which if you listen to the call, Jim Jones was clearly getting information for the feds from his fellow nine trade uh, members about their plans to murk Takashi. Here's the thing, though, right? Did Jim Jones snitch to the feds in the transcripts or whatever? I don't know. But if you're running around with a bandana screaming about a gang, you're a snitch automatically. All them tattoos, teardrop tattoos, all the other crap, that's snitching. Like, no one who's not uh, in your corny little gang should know anything. The fact that I can name Purple City, Purple City Bird Gang, tell you that these dudes wear purple bandanas and start naming off names of who's a member, allegedly. 
shows that y'all are some snitches. The fact that I can name 20 different so-called bloods off the top of my head. Alleged bloods. Takashi 69 Jim Jones, Cardi B, Suge Knight. I could just keep going and going all day. The game. You know what I mean? All of y'all are snitches. All of y'all are weirdos. You know? You did this stuff for clout. If not, you would have kept that crap to yourself. Why would we why would any of us regular civilians need to know that you're corny behind us in the game? That's weirdo stuff, man. None of us should even know. But it, it just goes to show you that all these people are snitches. Every single one of them. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about it all below. Me Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and MeWe. Me Magazine blog on Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell. That way you'll be sent alerts when new videos get posted. And for anybody who's dumb enough to come to my comment section and try to threaten me, I'll tell you what. I know who the last person you see in the cost bloods are gonna uh, ever threaten and it involves skin much lighter than mine because y'all know your place y'all don't want that whip to get cracked so stay in your place you Steven from Django mother